where exactly we fit in the grand scheme of the universe. Our home is nestled in the Orion arm of the Milky Way, roughly 27,000 light years from the galactic center. Now you might think we're just sitting still, but nope. Our solar system is zooming around the Milky Way at a staggering 828,000 kilometers per hour, taking about 230 million years to complete just one orbit. Yet, despite our seemingly modest position, Earth is the only known planet to harbor life. Zooming out a bit, let's talk about the observable universe. It's the part of the universe we can see or detect from Earth, stretching an astounding 93 billion light years in diameter. Within this vast expanse of billions of galaxies, each with millions or even billions of stars. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is merely one of these countless galaxies. But wait, there's more. Our Milky Way is part of a galactic neighborhood called the Local Group. This includes the Andromeda Galaxy and about 54 other smaller galaxies. This Local Group is itself a member of the Virgo Supercluster, a massive collection of galaxy clusters. And beyond that, we have the Lanier Kia Supercluster, an even larger structure encompassing thousands of galaxies. Now let's stretch our imagination with some mind-bending hypothetical scenarios. Ever heard of the multiverse theory? It's one of the most intriguing ideas in cosmology today. It suggests that our universe is just one among many that exists simultaneously. Each universe could have different physical laws and constants, making a vast array of possible realities. If true, our place in the universe is just a tiny part of a much larger, more complex multiverse. How about parallel universes? This concept proposes that multiple versions of ourselves exist in different realities. These parallel universes could be strikingly similar to our own or vastly different, each with its own alternate histories and outcomes. This raises profound questions about the nature of reality and our place within it. Time travel, anyone? Though still theoretical, time travel has fascinated both scientists and storytellers. Imagine if we could travel through time, exploring different epochs of the universe, witnessing its birth, evolution and eventual fate. This would give us an unparalleled perspective on our place in the cosmic timeline and finally the search for extraterrestrial life. This is one of the most thrilling endeavors in modern science. Discovering life beyond Earth would fundamentally alter our understanding of our place in the universe. It would suggest that life is not unique to our planet and that the universe is teeming with diverse forms of life. Let's take a journey through time itself. The timeline of the universe is a chronological sequence of events from the moment of the Big Bang to the present day and beyond. Here's an overview of the key stages in the universe's timeline. First, we have the Big Bang, which occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The universe began as an extremely hot and dense point, which rapidly expanded. During the Planck Epoch, up to 10 circumflex 43 seconds after the Big Bang, the laws of physics as we know them may not have applied. Next, the universe underwent exponential expansion during the inflationary epoch, from 10 circumflex 36 to 10 circumflex 32 seconds, smoothing out any irregularities. The quark epoch followed, lasting from 10 circumflex 12 seconds to 10 circumflex 6 seconds, where quarks, electrons and neutrinos formed, Shortly after, during the Hadron Epoch, quarks combine to form protons and neutrons. As we move forward, we enter the formation of basic elements stage. During the Lepton Epoch, from 1 to 10 seconds after the Big Bang, leptons like electrons dominated the universe. This was followed by nucleosynthesis between 3 to 20 minutes when protons and neutrons fused to form the nuclei of light elements like hydrogen, helium and lithium. The recombination phase occurred around 370,000 years after the Big Bang. Electrons combined with nuclei to form neutral atoms, allowing photons to travel freely and creating the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the oldest light we can observe. Then came the Dark Ages, lasting from 370,000 years to 150 million years. A period filled with neutral hydrogen gas and no stars. The formation of the first stars, known as Population 3 stars, ended this era around 150 million years after the Big Bang. By 1 billion years, galaxies started to form from gravitationally bound clusters of stars. Fast forward to the evolution of the universe. Our solar system formed about 4.6 billion years ago from a cloud of gas and dust. 
The earliest forms of life appeared on Earth around 3.8 billion years ago. Today the universe continues to expand, and galaxies move further apart. What does the future hold? The universe is expected to keep expanding, potentially leading to scenarios like the Big Freeze, Big Rip or Big Crunch, depending on the nature of dark energy and other factors. Let's not forget the hypothetical timelines. The multiverse theory suggests that our universe is one of many, each with its own timeline and physical laws. Parallel universes propose the existence of alternate realities where different events have occurred, creating divergent timelines. Let's delve into one of its greatest mysteries. What is dark energy? Dark energy is a mysterious and largely unknown form of energy that is believed to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. Here's a detailed look at what we know about dark energy. First, let's explore the characteristics of dark energy. Observations of distant supernovae in the late 1990s revealed that the universe's expansion is accelerating. This was unexpected because it was assumed that the gravitational pull of matter would slow the expansion over time. Dark energy makes up about 68% of the total energy content of the universe. In comparison, dark matter constitutes about 27% and ordinary baryonic matter makes up only about 5%. Unlike matter, which clumps together to form stars and galaxies, dark energy is thought to be uniformly distributed throughout space. This uniformity means it doesn't form structures but affects the universe on the largest scales. The density of dark energy is extremely low, approximately 7x10 circumflex 30 grams per cubic centimeter, or 6x10 circumflex 10 joules per cubic meter in mass energy terms. Despite its low density, its uniform presence across the vastness of space makes it the dominant component of the universe's energy budget. Now let's dive into the theories and hypotheses surrounding dark energy. One of the leading explanations for dark energy is the cosmological constant denoted by the Greek letter lambda, lambda. This concept, originally introduced by Einstein, represents a constant energy density filling space homogeneously. Another hypothesis is that Dark energy could be a dynamic field similar to the Higgs field known as quintessence. Unlike the cosmological constant, the energy density of quintessence can vary over time and space. Some theories suggest that the effects attributed to dark energy could be due to modifications in our understanding of gravity on cosmic scales. These theories propose changes to Einstein's general relativity to account for the accelerated expansion. Observational evidence for dark energy comes from several sources. Type IR supernovae, which have a consistent luminosity, have been used to measure distances in the universe. Observations of these supernovae showed that the universe's expansion is accelerating. Measurements of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the afterglow of the Big Bang provide evidence for the composition of the universe, including the presence of dark energy. The distribution of galaxies and galaxy clusters also supports the existence of dark energy as it influences the formation and evolution of these structures. 